here to explain. Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Senator, good to have you back. Uh, okay, those are my five things that I think we need so we have integrity in the process and confidence in the results. Am I on target, or is there more that you think we should add? Look, Sean, you're exactly right. And, and I've got to say, this bill that is before the Senate, it's S-1 or H.R. 1, many of us are calling it the Corrupt Politicians Act, is, in my view, the single most dangerous piece of legislation before the United States Congress. You, you know, there, there's kind of two buckets of what the Democrats are trying to do. One is bad policy, things like massive new taxes, massive new spending, massive new regulations. All of those are going to hurt Americans all across the country. But there's a second bucket that is really rigging the game, trying to change the rules so they never lose again. And, and, and the crown jewel of the rigging the game proposals is the Corrupt Politicians Act. Tomorrow in the Rules Committee in the Senate, we're going to have a markup. I've got 46 amendments I've introduced that I'm going to force Democrats to vote on one after the other after the other, because you're right. What this bill does, it's a massive federal takeover of elections all across this country. It strikes down almost every voter integrity law that's ever been adopted in the states. So, for example, 29 states require voter ID. It's a very reasonable, common sense provision. The Corrupt Politicians Act strikes all of those laws down. 31 states prohibit vote harvesting, prohibited paid operatives collecting other people's ballots and potentially stealing those votes. This bill strikes all of those provisions down. This bill, the Corrupt Politicians Act, would register millions of illegal aliens. It would register millions of criminals to vote because Democrats believe, and I think quite reasonably, that millions of illegal aliens and millions of criminals are likely to vote Democratic. This bill turns the Federal Election Commission into a partisan weapon to fine, to prosecute, to sue Republicans. It gives Chuck Schumer a federal agency as an attack dog. And not only that, this bill is welfare for politicians. It provides a federal match of six to one. If, if a candidate raises money uh, for a campaign, the federal government matches it six to one, which would give hundreds of millions of dollars to politicians. Because, Sean, as you look at needy populations in America, it, it's hard to think of a, a, a group more needing of federal funds than politicians. And by the way, they can pay their own expenses out of this. This is a, it, it is a massive Democratic power grab. And it's because the number one priority of Joe Biden, of Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi is to stay in power for 100 years and to steal the rights of the voters to, to, to vote them out. I, I am leading the fight against this. It is the single most dangerous thing in the Congress right now. Senator, I'll defer to you. You're the, you went to Harvard Law. You've argued in one case is before the, the U.S. Supreme Court. My understanding is that the Constitution's pretty clear, time, manner, place of elections. Uh, that would be up to state legislatures. But maybe I'm mistaken, or perhaps I misinterpreted our Constitution and the very clear language in it. Well, well, Sean, I will say it, it's a bit more complicated than that, because under the Constitution, the states and the federal government have concurrent authority. So, so Congress does have some authority over elections, and, and it would certainly be litigated. Are there provisions of the Corrupt Politicians Act that any, in any fair court would be struck down? Absolutely. But here's the really bad news. The only way the Democrats will pass the Corrupt Politicians Act is if they can get all 50 Democrats to end the filibuster. If they I'm end the filibuster, they'll do this, but they'll also make D.C. a state, adding two new Democratic senators, and they'll pack the U.S. Supreme Court, adding four left-wing justices. And if they do that, Four left-wing justices will vote to uphold the Corrupt Politicians Act and keep Democrats in power forever. This is all about rigging the game and stealing your right to vote. It's saying to the voters, you can't vote the bums out, no matter Last how question. much damage they do to the country. Republicans can deny the Democrats a, a quorum if they unite all 50 of you. Do you trust Lisa Murkowski, Ben Sass, Mitt Romney? Because I don't have a lot of confidence in them. Look, Sean, I hope so. I can tell you I'm making the case to my Republican colleagues that, it, that if they pull the trigger, if Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema cave under Chuck Schumer's pressure, we should use every tool we can. We should deny unanimous consent. We should deny a quorum. I can tell you most Republicans are agreed. I don't know if we get all 50. I'm going to do everything I can to make the case, and I hope we do. Right now, there's not a Republican in the conference arguing the other side. That might change, 
But at least no. right now we have a united front. I hope that remains that way because if not, tax increases we can undo in two years or four years. Changing the rules fundamentally is designed to rig the system for a century to come. I, and with every, every breath in my body, I'm going to fight against it. Senator, I appreciate your efforts. This is important. This is key. This is crucial. This would forever change and alter the trajectory of the country. Biggest power grab ever. Thank you, Senator Cruz. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.